Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly Alexandria and I'm so glad you're with me today. Whether you've been to my channel before or if you just found this video and you're interested in modeling, I cannot wait to share with you guys my experience and my story and that's exactly what this is going to be. So if you guys enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos like this. Please comment down below and all that. But anyways, this video is going to be about my experience in the industry. So I want to give you guys a little bit of background because in no way, shape, or form have uh, do I even have background in the modeling industry. Okay, so we're going to try to keep this video under like 10 minutes just so you guys can get what you need out of this video, the tips, like somebody else's experience and how they got their foot in the door. So I hope this helps you guys. But okay, so let me start off with when I was younger. So I am 22 years old right now and I do not have a background in the modeling industry at all. So I pretty much grew up, I was pretty thin and tall. So I am 5'9". So naturally when I was like, I've literally been really tall since I was like 12 years old. So I've been getting told like just on the streets, like you should be a model, like be a model, be a model. And then I remember this one time I was with my grandparents in Florida. So that's when they like retired to Florida and stuff. So we would go visit them. And I remember this like scout came up to me and was like, hey, like, have you ever modeled before? Like, blah, 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 blah. And obviously I was like 12 years old. So my parents were kind of like skeptical. And so that never really went anywhere. But honestly, that's just something I remember that kind of got me started of like starting to think about this industry, I guess. So yeah, that was kind of like my first experience. And then I really didn't think much of it, but being a model and like working for an agency has always been my dream since that time like since I was so much younger but it was just kind of one of those things and it wasn't as commercialized as it is now so um yeah my mom was always pretty skeptical because she didn't want me going to into this industry being like really hard on myself and my body and she was kind of pushing me to like love myself the way I am and like she didn't want that to change so yeah so I really never entered it because I was really like active in grade school and high school and I played sports like year-round so time really didn't permit for modeling but moving on from that I was gonna I wanted to do like some local modeling so a boutique near me had this like model casting call and this was in I want to say like 2015 or 2016 so like right as soon as I graduated high school and was going to college they needed models so I'm like this is something I always wanted to do like I've been wanting to like be in front of the camera and like just like try modeling and they didn't accept me at the time so I didn't get that that kind of just went on the back burner and I kind of started my YouTube channel, I started my blog, and then I started doing like more fashion blogging on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, shameless plug. But anyway, then I kind of just forgot about the industry itself until there was an open casting call for this local modeling agency, so not the boutique modeling, the modeling agency itself. So I went to that and I think Honestly, like it didn't go really well for me. I had tape and extensions like all the way down to my tushy and I had like, I didn't really know <laughs> what I was doing. Like I tried, but they didn't like call me back or anything. So I just kind of was like, well, don't worry. Like that kind of sucks, but you know, maybe I'm not meant for this modeling thing. But you know, this is where you guys should never give up on anything because girl kept crying. So I so I let a little bit of time pass. Like it was probably like a I don't know what year is it? 2019. It was probably like almost six months to a year before I even thought about modeling again. So I'm like, okay, like maybe I'll try a different agency. Like I really wasn't like consistent with it because I was just kind of like, well, let me try this. Like I wasn't really going into it for the career portion just so like I can get the like experience and like see how it is because it was always my dream. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's why I really didn't like I was like, well, okay, that sucks. Like darn, like they don't, they don't like me. It's it's fine. But anyway, um I kept growing my Instagram and I kept growing my blog and 
I eventually got reached out to from the owner of the boutique that I'm currently modeling for in my area and it's like super exciting. I mean it's not with a modeling agency but it's still so fun for me. I love being in front of the camera, I love posing, I love putting on new clothes, I love talking to the, their Instagram and like their um doing their social media and stuff so it was super fun for me and I really loved it and it kind of gave me the idea of maybe trying an agency again just to see because one of the other models at the boutique is an actual like signed agency model so I was kind of talking to her about it and everything so that was that and then after I started like getting experience like more experience in front of the camera at that job like five six months into that I saw this agency on Instagram that was local and this other girl I know actually works for them so I was kind of like well like let me see what they offer because they looked a lot more commercialized instead of like high fashion if you guys know the difference between that but yeah so I reached out to them and they're like oh we have like an open casting call this Saturday so I ended up going and this was like two weeks ago so I ended up going and then they're like okay we'll call you back on Tuesday if we want to move forward and this was Saturday and Monday was a holiday so I waited until Tuesday and they're like we're gonna call you between 9 and 10 30 so it was Tuesday and I was waiting around pretty anxiously and I finally got the call at like 10 and they're like oh like we really want to um, sign you like are you so interested blah 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 and I'm like yeah like of course like sounds like sounds really cool like I mean I don't really know much about the industry I mean I didn't tell them that but honestly I was just like yes this is like something that I've always like been wanting to do and I'm like this sounds like really good for me especially I'm at a time where like I can make my own decisions and I'm older and more mature now so this like just seemed like the perfect time and I'm super excited so I go meet with them I registered and then I have my first comp card photo shoot this this coming weekend or next weekend anyway but I start there and I'm super excited because this is something I've always been wanting to do. So yeah, do not give up on your dreams, guys, because things can happen. Don't you worry, like times are changing. It's not just you have to be stick thin, you have to be zero pounds to be in this industry because there are so many things you could be doing. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna move on to my tips for like, I guess, casting calls and just my tips in the industry so far. Like I said, this is not my background, so take this for what it is and just like my experience on, you know, trying to go to these casting calls and trying to get, be signed. So anyway, I'm going to go through my tips. Okay, so the first thing is the casting calls. So if you can find certain agencies in your area, there's like always agencies in different like bigger cities. So definitely check those out and see if they have any casting calls. A lot of agencies do it like once a month or every couple weeks or even every week. So definitely check that out. So what you would be doing is just going there and yeah, make sure you're on time for sure. And just kind of getting a first impression of the agency itself and then they get a first impression of you and then they talk to you, kind of interview you. For my casting call that I just went to um, at my now agency, I had to like, <laughs> I had to like walk the runway in front of people, which I was fine with. I didn't really care too much. And then I had to meet with one of the directors and I read off like a commercial script. So if I got jobs, it would mostly be like commercial and print work. So I read off like a TJ Maxx commercial script. So I did that. So everything's different though, because one casting call that I went to last year like I literally met with them they took my measurements they took my photo and then they asked me a couple questions and then I left so a lot of them are different so just kind of be prepared for other things just be really happy and upbeat and energetic and definitely confident that is like major that is major people want to see that so um yeah what else so it's kind of like a casting call bring in like a headshot or if you have a portfolio bring that in but my next tip is to like start being in front of the camera like go out with your friends take some photos pose and just kind of get experience in front of the camera and obviously you can start making your portfolio I personally did not just because um, I'm going to like this agency and they're going to create the portfolio for me. 
so I didn't have that but if you're like ex if you have experience and being in front of the camera and like have professional photos definitely like put that in a book print out some copies and then give it to the agencies because that like will help you like stand out a little bit more don't worry if you're not like local to any agencies and you're kind of like far out you live in a small town there are so many things to do online so if you go to like the certain modeling agencies website that's like sort of close to you you can just submit like your headshot I think a full body and like a profile shot so definitely do that if um, all else fails and then social media is so huge right now a lot of these agencies like a lot of the bigger agencies have hashtags like where you, they can like scout you so try that as well on your social media another major thing is just because like you get rejected once you're gonna hear there's gonna be so many no's in your life you just have to go with it like I tried like five different times before I got a yes but yeah just keep going girlfriend you got this if you really want this then just keep digging for it oh and then one of the last things I didn't want to talk about are scams so make sure you do a bunch of your research before going to these agencies because some of them just want your money and they're scams so just be really careful about that a lot of the agencies that are like bigger named obviously like not gonna be scams but it really helped to know that I know a girl who works at the agency that I'm gonna be working at now so that was really helpful I was like able to ask her questions but I also just like a fun little tip just like stock the models on Instagram that work there so a lot of times they have it in like their Instagram bio or if the agency has an Instagram page then sometimes they'll like tag them or like go through their followers and see like if the models follow them just to, like see who's working for them I know that's like sounds kind of weird but I do that sometimes honestly just have fun with it because life's a journey and it's a ride so if you're gonna be looking for a modeling agency good luck let me know in the comments if you're signed with one, if you're looking, all that kind of stuff. I just want to like, I just want to hear you guys' opinions because obviously this is new to me. So if this is new to you, please comment down below as well. But I think that is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this different video. I usually like don't do videos like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like because that supports me. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every single week. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.